welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I'm Tony Green, said Psychic Medium. We are going to get going with the show right away. Couple quick announcements for everybody who's new, everybody who's returning. I'm going to make these as quick and painless as possible. First and foremost, thank you so much for being here. I'm really grateful to share this show with you. Second, if you'd like to call in, the call in number is 845 277 9131. You can call in and ask a question about life, love, career, finances. You can ask to connect with a loved one on the other side um, about anything going on in the world today. I will answer those questions. Also, if you are joining me live on YouTube, you can post a question in there, say hi, whatever you, however you want to join. I go live every Monday at noon. Uh, you can call in, join in, and every Wednesday at 7 p.m., both of those times are central time. Okay, I will never ever reach out to you on any social media, email, or anything telling you, asking you to get a reading. None of that stuff will ever, ever happen. Um, it, the only way to get a reading is to go to my website, and that is T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O. That is the only website I have for readings. And, to, and for my uh, hypnosis and healings, and to look at it there, you pay there, and then you call me on my business number and book, um, that's 414-897-2869. Anything else is a scam, please do not get scammed. Please don't, don't get scammed. Okay, I think we're ready. I'm gonna say names of people. Um, a first thing I'm going to do is uh, names and then songs, and then I'm going to take callers. Now, uh, the names could be your name, your loved one on the other side's name, or the same name of someone you both know. And the first name that I'm hearing is um, Regina. The second name I'm hearing is Mustafa. I didn't even know that was a real name, folks. Come on now, Mustafa. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. The funny starting. We're already being funny. Okay, so today I'm also, I've been hearing all day like foods that people would um, want. And I know it's from the other side. So pizza with pepperoni, no sausage. <laughs> Uh, falafels. Somebody on the other side really loved falafels. Cheese fries with bacon, like crispy, crunchy bacon bits. Um, uh, tater tots. This is a lot of unhealthy food. Folks. <laughs> I love it all. Give it to me. I'm seeing um, those ice cream cones that are the not a traditional ice cream cone, but the, like the, the, I don't know how to describe it, but that long ice cream cone, that kind. And then there's also um, the other food is waffles, but with ice cream. That's pretty exact. That's pretty, pretty exact. Okay, I'm going to start taking callers now. Again, if you'd like to call in, the number is 845-277-9131. Remember, that is only the number for the show. That is not the number to reach out to me on for, for personal business purposes. The first number is 831. 831, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, my name is Candy. I'm calling from Florida. Thank you for taking my call. Absolutely my pleasure. Candy, how can I help you today? I'd like to find out any messages uh, from Spirit about finances and uh, in career, any new offers and opportunities coming up for me. Okay. Um, so what I, um, I should have said this prior to starting, I, I let people have one question per show because I always have such a long um, uh, list of people waiting for uh, to be in my call lot. That's 
I'm sorry. So pick one, the finances or the career. Which one would you like to uh, know about today, Candy? Um, well, I guess they, they're intertwined because if the career comes and the finances come, but I'll, I'll, I'll ask about finances. Okay. And you're right. They are intertwined. But um, again, if you have a lot of questions, if anybody has a lot of questions, they can call, they can book a personal reading. If, if, if what I give you on the show doesn't um, answer all of your questions or your needs, please feel free to book a personal session. But um, for the sake of the show, I do one question and that I think is more than fair for everybody listening and um, calling in. And again, if there's more that you need, I am available for private sessions. So Candy, your finances right now, they don't look the best. They haven't looked the best in a little bit of time. Now, meaning the best, that, that means like, here's our highest high, here's our lowest low. You haven't been at the best with your finances for a little while. I hear the word struggle. I don't know if you're in a struggle right now or you just feel like you're struggling right now. But what I'm hearing, and this might seem like it is a little bit off, but I'm going to tell you what I'm hearing. In September, I know, I know where we are. Take a breath. Let it go. In a, in a, in a September... <laughs> All of a sudden, this accent comes in like Geppetto. In a September, you're going to get a, in September, you're going to get relief in your financial situation. That doesn't mean that between now and September, it's going to stay the same. What that could mean is between now and September, you're incrementally going to go up. And in September, you're going to be caught up or feel relief with whatever's been holding you back a little bit. I, I feel like mm -hmm. in September, there's going to be a little more money coming in. This could be because either a little, uh, I was going to say because a little more money is coming in. In September, there's going to be relief because there is more money coming in incrementally. This can mean a pay raise. This can mean uh, something that just puts you ahead of the game a little bit. Now, if you don't have steady income right now, you're going to have it no later than March. That doesn't mean between Mar now and March, there won't be income. There will be something coming in. But if it's not steady in March, you will have that steady money coming in. And then September, there will be a little bit more coming in. One thing I say when people, Can, yes. Go on. Okay. I thought you were interrupting me for a second there. I thought I heard you say something. Um, in, in March, I feel like there's going to be uh, something come in that's a little bit more steady. And that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you appreciate it. Listen, folks, I'm going to say something. And I've had, I'm really blessed and I'm really lucky. And I get callers that are absolutely amazing. And I get people on YouTube that are absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. And every once in a while, um... How, how am I going to say? Uh, and I'm very, very blessed for that. And I would like to keep that just like that. So if you're calling in and you're asking a question about love, life, career, finances, please make it one question. If you want to connect with a loved one on the other side, please have a very specific person you want to connect with. If you have a question for them, please make sure that you ask the question with their name. And please let me know. I go between phone calls and um, people online that have questions. So if you are on YouTube watching me live, hey, YouTube, make sure you're putting your question in the YouTube chat. I will get to that question um, if I can in the allotted time. I want to say hi to Amy and Rebecca. Hey, Patrick, how are you? Um, 
Ridhai, I, I don't know how to pronounce your name, so I apologize for that. Patricia, how are you? Fawn, hey Fawn. So I'm gonna, the first person that seems like they have a question is Ridhai, and I'm again, Ridhi, I'm sorry if I don't know how to pronounce your name. Hi Deborah, how are you? Uh, Karmic Karen, how are you? I'm gonna go to Ridhai first, and I'm gonna say his question, uh, Ridhai's question is, hey, Le hey Lisa, Lisa. Um, oh, they're coming in so fast. I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to, I'm going to lose this question. Okay. When will I receive and sign my LVMH contract? I'm not sure what that is. And relocate to Paris. Oh, mm. Genevieve just got back from Paris. A friend of mine, a friend of the show's just got back from Paris. Uh, she went to France cycling. Um, Please, I have been waiting since long for this deal. Okay. Okay, I'm going to tell you the first that I hear it. And right now is a really good time for relocation for people. But I hear everything will be said and done in or by April. I know you may be wanting to do this sooner. I get that. But there's a timing in everything. So please be patient um, and know that by April, I'm not sure when in April, but by April, this will be said and done for you. And I don't know if you guys see that flashing as I say that. Oh, there's Spirit's confirmation for you. I hope that's helpful for you. Thank you so much for asking that question. I'm going to go to 623, who I asked. She was in the chat, and I asked her to call in. 623, how are you today? Hi, Tony. It's Rebecca from Arizona. I'm doing good. Hey, Rebecca. And you guys, I did ask Rebecca to uh, call in. She asked a question in the chat, yeah. and I knew this answer was going to take a little bit longer and um, I just didn't want to tippy tap it all out. So Rebecca, um, I already know the I question. Can repeat it. I'm sorry. Go ahead, oh, okay. love. Go ahead, love. I was just going to ask um, if there's a message for my son DeAndre from my mother Raquel. Yeah, there is, and there's a message for you too, Rebecca. So the first thing that she oh. would want to say is she loves you and she misses life. She misses the life the life. Um, she wants you to know that she's really grateful for uh, the ending, but more importantly, what what everybody did in the ending of her life, that's going to make me just fall. But she's just really okay. grateful okay. for that. Jesus. Um, she has a, and the reason I start to get like cry is not because of me. It's because their emotions are coming through me. And her emotion was just so much gratitude for everything that you guys did near the end of life and at end of life for her. Um, she's really sorry she had to go so soon, even if it didn't feel like soon to you. She, it felt like soon to her. Like it was very, maybe either she went very quick, like the end that it was a very quick departure, if you know what I mean, or like just yeah. all of a sudden. So she's really sorry. Uh, she wishes she could have said more at the end. She wasn't able to speak the way she wanted to or eloquently or say what she wanted to say. Does all of this make sense so far, Rebecca? Yes, my mom was mute by the time. She couldn't speak no more. She lost her voice. So I Are you able to hear me? Yeah, I'm here. I'm just trying not to cry. I'm really trying not to cry. I'm trying to hold my poop together right now. I'm just trying to hold my poop together. I'm so grateful that her messages are so clear right now. I'm looking, I always keep tissue near me. Hold on, folks. I gotta grab a tissue. And I'm just trying not to lose my poop right now. I'm trying to hold it together for her and you and everybody else because I do not have a pretty cry face. Um, thank you for confirming that. Thank you so much for confirming all of that for me. 
Oh, okay. The next thing she would want to say for your son is tell him to get it together. And she's like being firm, like as if she would smack her hand on a table or uh, together, like get it together to, to pull himself together, to pull his himself out of it. And let's do a clearing because I feel like he is just, I get like he is falling into something and it's really difficult for him to get out of it. So whatever that is, let's just clear that for him and anybody else listening. And that he just needs to get it together and he needs to have that faith and hope again. Oh, don't we all? So um, our faith and our hope is strong. I get a no, let's heal, clear, release that for everybody. She wants you to tell him that she's, she's always looking at him like, and when I use my left hand to point, that is that is your loved one coming through because I'm very right-handed, folks. I am very, very right-handed. Um, she wants him to know, you tell him <laughs> with this little <laughs> with this little voice and this little accent, you tell him, I am watching everything he does. I'm over his shoulder all the time. So if he's up to uh, suspicious behavior is the way she is saying it on air. I am watching him. I know. I see it. You tell him I see it and I'm watching him. And he has to have good behavior. Very good behavior. Okay. <laughs> and then she says, but tell him yeah. I love him. And I am helping him to make his next choice. How old is, is your son, hun? 23 today's his birthday oh happy birthday to him and what does he do for a living he's a truck driver he drives semis i love it okay and does he do because i keep hearing contract or contractor or co contracted so does he get contracts with his driving he did but he's moving on to something next but i do have another son that does contracting okay good so what I'm going to say to you and for your son with contracting, that there is something big coming in for him. When he gets it, don't be nervous. Mm -hmm. Just take it. It's all going to work out well. It's a gift. Um, I'm going to tell you that you are going to have, now for you, my love, uh, she's also bringing you a little gift that is going to be very special and intimate to you. Now, I'm okay. going to give a few examples because sometimes when we hear there's a gift, I we can we can miss it because we're looking for something differently. So an example could be like her original recipe or recipe book, an ornament that was from your childhood. I think this is a nostalgic gift, something that could have been lost, but isn't. And you're going to be like, you're going to see it and be like, oh my goodness, I can't believe this is still here. It's a very nostalgic, intimate gift that's going to be coming to you. And it doesn't mean it's something new. It, again, it could have been something that was packed away that when you're unpacking things for the holidays or going through winter or whatever items, because I know you don't, you live where there's not a so-called winter, but seasonal items, you might be like, oh, I can't believe I just found this. Whatever it is, it's coming through and it's to remind you. Okay, love? Okay. Thank you, Tony. And she wants to tell you, and I know that she... She just says there was so much she would have said at the end, but all of it equaled one thing. Thank you, and I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, thank and you. I love you. Thank you, and I love you. Thank you, and I love you. That is what she would have said in the end. If she could have just... She is so grateful for everything also. Okay, love? Thank you. Oh, Thanks, you, Tony. You are so welcome. Sorry. Thank you so much for taking the time to call in. I knew if I would have just answered this online, it would have never been anything near that. 
I would not have been able to, yeah. I would not have put all those details in, okay? Yeah. Thank you. You Thanks, are Tony. You are so, so welcome. You guys, that is one of my favorite. That is just one of my favorite. I love that. Thank you, Raquel. Thank you so much. That was that was such a blessing all the way around for, for me and for her and for hopefully for everyone, just letting you know they are here. Okay, I'm going to go to the next question. Whoa, there's so many. Whoa. Um, the next question from Patricia. Hey, Tony, are there any messages for any new jobs and money making opportunities for me now? Thanks, Patricia. Okay, Patricia, I'm only going to answer one part of that. Um, and I hear money making. I'm supposed to answer the part about money making for you. And Patricia, as far as money making, there's a venture, they're calling it a venture that you're, you can do. Um, I feel like this is not like a regular job type of thing. It's a venture, something that you are going to do kind of more on your own or as an independent contractor that's going to bring you a nice chunk of change. It's going to be a consistent chunk of change. It's going to be something that allows you to have some consistent money coming in, but it is on your own, it's it's something that you're doing, like just by. It's not like going into a company and working for a company. I don't know if that makes sense for you, Patricia. Please let me know if that makes sense for you. Okay, you guys. I seriously was having dreams last night of all the businesses that people could start, and then I woke up and forgot all the businesses that people could start. Um, but they were pretty cool. They were pretty cool businesses. So I, I don't know why I have forgotten them all, but Jesus, they were so cool. Patricia, please let me know in the comments. Uh, let me see if you answered that yet, if that makes sense to you. Um, hey, White Swan, welcome to the show. Rosella, welcome to the show. Uh, Deborah, welcome to the show. I'm going to try to get to everybody's uh, question online. I'm just going to try to remember where I am and go through with the phone calls and the online questions. If you would like to call in, the call in number is 845-277-9131. So please, uh, that, that's the call in number. If you have a question, please remember to hit the one so that I can... Um, know that you have a question or you want to connect with a loved one on the other side. I'm going to go to caller number with the area code 111. What, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hmm. Well, that gave me a little chance to take a drinky poo, but there's nobody there. So I'm going to go to 330. 330, what's your name and where are you calling from? Michelle from Ohio. Hey, Michelle. <laughs> How can I help you today? Hi, I was wondering if my Uncle Frank uh, had any messages for me. <laughs> and so by the way, Regina at the beginning of the show was um, my one of my grandmother's names. We I, weren't real close, though. But so I wanted to see if my Uncle Frank had any messages. <laughs> Okay, thank you for confirming that. And I want to say, as soon as you say his name, this big smile comes on my face, like this feeling or this energy of happy-go-lucky comes to me. So at least at one point in his life, he was very happy-go-lucky. I get this. I want to snap with music sort of thing. Um, uh, uh, and I do feel like there is a energy of, him kind of having like this boss type of feeling energy or attitude about him. Um, does that describe him, love? Yeah, so he was very much the type that enjoyed being in charge or, you know, more more in the family sense. Like he was definitely the head of his household. 
Um, and he was definitely happy-go-lucky in his younger years. Okay. And, well, even, you know, in his mid-60s, he was known as the Silver Fox. And he was <laughs> he liked to dance and... Yeah, yeah. I, I am definitely. So before you say too much, I just want to say thank you for confirming. I wanted to make sure I had the right person. And the, the thing that I'm getting about him next, the next thing I'm getting is he wants you to know that he is still. Um, okay, he's still just, you know, just as magnetic as ever or magnificent as ever. Either word applies. Uh, he also wants to say that he is carrying on the legacy where he is. But for you personally, one of the things that he would say to you is, and I, I hope this makes sense to you and for you, I'm going to say it, ex excuse me, I'm going to say it exactly how I'm hearing it. And what I'm hearing is start that business, start that business, start that business. Now, whatever that means, and however that is meant for you is what's for you. I don't know if you have a business idea that you've been thinking of starting or some sort of creative endeavor you've been thinking of starting, but that's his message to you. Now, if this is not your personal creative endeavor, but I think it is, I'm going to go and say, I wholeheartedly believe this is your personal creative endeavor. Maybe it belongs to a partner or something like that, family, whatever, but start that business. And it might even be a family business that you want to start. I don't know. I'm just throwing that in because of the last thing I heard. What I'm going to say, if you don't know what that is right now, don't worry. You're going to wake up one morning and you will absolutely know what that is, what that business is that you want to start and how you want to start it, what you want to do. Now, sometimes when they say start that business, it's it's. It's not a big factory or a storefront or an actual location business. It could be something you do out of your home, like taking calls or um, making, making something. I always go to that. Whatever it is, you're going to know exactly what it is, and you're going to know exactly what to do to get it going. I always tell people who are starting a business, don't go big go bright. So instead of putting all the money into a location, put it into product or whatever it is that you're doing and maybe a little promotion. Um, it, so that that's always the better way. Does this message make sense to you so far, love? Um, not as far as starting a business. No. Okay. Um, go ahead. I mean, my husband already, he, he's been running his own business for over 20 years. Um, but I mean, he's doing well. And as far as I know, there's nothing that either one of us are planning to do at this time. We both work full time. So, okay. So what I'm going to say for you and however this comes about, 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 sorry, about, however this comes about, and I hear the month June, so mark it down on a calendar or put it in your phone, the month June, the month of June, that you will know what this is. Now, sometimes some of the messages I get, they most of the messages I get are predictive messages, meaning it hasn't come in yet, it's going to come in in the future, and when it comes in, this is your go-ahead to do it. Whatever this is, it might be an add-on to whatever is being done, but I think this is your own. I'm just going to say this, and I'm going to be really bold about it, and I feel really bold because you're not even thinking in this direction right now. You're not even in this mindset for this, but I'm going to be really bold. And remember, we have free will and free choice. When it comes, you can just poo-poo it off 
if if you you are not in the place where this feels right to you. But what I'm going to say that between now and the month of June, I'm even going to say the month of July just to give it a little extra time, but I'm hearing June. So it might come in in, in the month of June or it might come in sometime between now and the month of June. You may get an idea for a product or a business that, and I'm going to say this in a very specific way, coincides with your with possibly something that's already going on. That's the way I'm going to say it. And you're going to, and maybe it comes out of necessity. Maybe something happens and you're like, you know what, this doesn't exist, but we really need this. This there's a need for this, and with that you run with it, or or it's just you wake up and you're like, oh that you know what that's a like I said the other night I had th these dreams for all these businesses and I woke up and they were all gone. But you 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 there something comes about and you just say you know what that's that's a great idea. I think I want to see. I want to pursue this. I don't think it's going to be something that takes. A lot of, uh, it's not like a whole big, you have to start from scratch. I think a lot of the elements are already there. You're just bringing them together. You already have a way to do this. Now, whatever this is and however this comes in, starting a business can be something like starting a contract business where people need these people to do this work and you're just the the middleman to bring the workers and the people together okay it doesn't it mean it has to be some big thing whatever it is whenever it comes in please consider it because i feel like it's a divine gift for you when it comes in now again you have free will i'm not the boss of you you get to decide what you want when that time comes and you get to decide if this is something you want to go with, even look at further than in your mind or not. Okay, love? I just wonder if it has something to do with a, a situation I've recently been dealing with as far as the lack of resources for senior citizens and um, finding handicapped accessible housing that isn't necessarily through HUD. Um, and I wonder if it has something to do with that, because I had mentioned to my husband, you know, if I had the means and resources and finances, I would build a, a senior living community that had more opportunity that wasn't so restricted by the government, you know, financial limitations. So I just wonder if it has something to do with, because I'm very passionate about helping um, seniors. And that is a big part of my job, actually, yeah. is I'm an advocate. So I, you know, people that yeah. have health issues and need assistance. Okay. So, what I'm going to say is when we put something out there, thank you so much for sharing that with me. Thank you so much. Um, yes. Um, uh, and if when you re listen to that, this show and you're part of it, Listen to what I said right before this, like bringing things together. Maybe I didn't say it perfectly, but it fits. To me, it fits. Um, yes, I feel like you're going to figure out a way to do this without breaking the bank or even breaking into the piggy bank. I think you're going to figure out a way. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to tell you right now what I'm getting and I'm getting goosebumps on the back of my head. So if you if you don't have a pen and paper, when you're done, we listen to this and write this down. There are a lot of, um, uh, how do I say this appropriately? I need to be very gentle when I talk on air. Um, there are a lot of, uh, yeah, okay. I think you're going to find places that already exist that would absolutely adore, would love to convert their buildings from Section 8 housing to handicap housing for all the right reasons. 
And I think if you start working with some of these people that own like apartment complexes, they will be very happy in converting. Um, it might not happen right away, but I do believe it's going to happen. And I do believe you may have people, uh, once you put the feelers out, people may come forward to you and start to work and you're going to be bringing all of this together. It's going to be a little bit of extra work for you, but you'll be very happy to do it. And you'll be very, very, very excited about the results. I'm going to recommend, and I'm going to say this, I'm going to recommend you start a nonprofit and you get um, all the nonprofit paperwork started now so that you can work with these groups and they're not showing me everything you need to do for all the reasons that they wouldn't to protect your idea and your business um, as much as everything else, but get your nonprofit started now. And I feel like you are going to be able to work with people who are willing to fill this niche in a very beautiful way. And I believe that once you start this, everything's going to come flooding in, okay? As far as ideas, people to contact, um, political representatives you might need to work with to get some of these things pushed where you need them to be, okay, love? Thank you, and I want to say I got goosebumps up at the back of my neck at the same time you did. Yes, I'm feeling them when you said it. And I, I want to high five yeah. you. I'm sending you an air high five. That is amazing. I love that. Oh my gosh, I love that. Thank you so much, Spirit. Thank you, Uncle. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so grateful for that. Thank you. Thank you for calling in. Um, I'm so happy that that you did get that confirmation too. Thank you, my love. I hope um, that this was helpful for you. And I look forward yeah, to next. Thank you. you are so, so welcome. Thank you, love. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to go to the next question on the YouTube chat. And again, if you would like to call in, the number is 845-277-9131. If you'd like to watch the show live, you can join me Monday at noon, Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central on YouTube. You can uh, be part of the conversation in the chat. You can post, uh, you can call in and ask questions. But if you'd like a private session, like during a private session with that, that, that person, so much more information would have come out um, about that. But because it's a show and I'm, you know, trying to be fair to everybody, um, we get what we get. Now, if you call in and you have a question or you want to connect with someone on the other side, please don't forget to hit that one on your phone. So your hand on the switchboard raises and I can know that you you have a question. Uh, Ridhi says, you are amazing. Your energy is so warm. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. You're, you're really kind. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Um, hey, Fawn, Deborah. Hi, Karmic Karen. Does Leo, my grandpa, a Pisces, have a message for me? He raised me. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay. Karen, uh, sometimes if you want to connect with a loved one, it's the energy comes through so much stronger during a phone conversation. But Karen, uh, Leo, your grandpa, the first thing that I get is he was the type of person to do like hokey practical jokes, like pull my finger. Like I keep wanting to pull my finger. Either that or he just liked to crack his knuckles. One way or the other, we're pulling fingers on that, okay? <laughs> Whatever that means for him. The next thing that I'm getting is he's saying you're, he's very, you're, you're, uh, the, the, the statement that's coming through and the way that he's saying it is you're a fine young woman. You're a fine young woman. Um, that might not be something that the way I would say it or somebody else would say it, but that's the way that he's bringing it through. You're a fine young woman that you've turned out very well. You far exceeded any expectation that he would have had. 
the other message that he has for you is that everybody is here and that when I go back here, this is where they kind of congregate. Everybody's here and they're doing good and they're like a bubble around you. They're a bubble around you. So know that you're protected, know that you are safe and they're always with you like a bubble around you. Like, and if this is like a, the creepy, <laughs> It's not creepy. Okay. It's not creepy in the sense, but it's like if you put a balloon around you and all their faces were on the balloon, that is what it's like. <laughs> so that's what he, what he is saying for you, Karen. I hope that is, uh, I hope that's helpful for you. And thank you so much for being on the um, the chat and asking that question. I'm going to go to the next caller. And the next caller is um, five, five, 504. 504, what's her name and where are you calling from? I'm calling from uh, New Orleans. Thank you for so much for calling in. And what's your name, love? Just your first name. Yeah. Jazzy. Ja Jazzy with a Z? Z. Okay, Jazz. I'm, I think it's Jazz. It's breaking up a, a little bit. Your, your, your end is just breaking up just a little bit. And I apologize that I'm not hearing it. Can you hear me now? Yeah, that's good. So what, okay. what's your question today, love? Yeah, I was wondering when you see me going back to work. Oh, uh, soon. Well, oh, okay. Wow. Okay. I, this is what I hear. This is what I hear. I'm going to tell you. I, I heard literally tomorrow, which does not mean tomorrow. Now, work to them can obviously mean a couple of things. But I heard tomorrow, which does not literally mean tomorrow. It can sometimes mean in the very near future. But then I heard when you're ready, okay. when you're ready or when you want to, it will be there. Um, so that is the way that I am going to answer that. Now, I hear that you have a very mystical side or you like the very mystical side of things. Like, and I yeah. hear the word spooky, like, ooh, that's spooky. Um, <laughs> and I, they're being very comical about it because it's not like spooky, like, oh, like haunted house spooky, but it is like, they're laughing like, ooh, that's so spooky. Um, you have a very high mystical, this is the way I'm hearing it. This is not something, I would never typically say it this way. You have a very high mystical sensibility about you and that you love all things mystical and a little bit spooky, whatever spooky means for you. I don't know if you like haunted places or haunted houses or like no. me either. No. I don't, yeah, I don't like those things at all. So spooky being not that, but like that's if, like woo woo. Yes. Woo woo. Thank woo -woo. you. Like people, some people think what I yeah. do is very spooky. They're always like, well, how do you know I got, because it's love. It's all in love. It's not based in anything other than love. So to them, it's very spooky, but to me, it's so not, but um, it's so natural. You yeah, have that, and they're saying like, when I use the term play with it, it means Play, we're playing in the energy, but we're taking it se seriously as it comes through. So I play with spirit all day. I play with God and the angels and however people, whatever people want to call it, universal, whatever. I just call it what I call it. You call it what you want, but play with it, but let it be uh, serious as it comes through and start uh, using it in a more practical practical way meaning maybe for other people don't keep don't it's like if you have the best cake the and it's like a big 
cake, okay? And and you love this cake and you don't want to give anybody a piece because you love it so much and you want it all to yourself, but it's going to get rotten before you can eat it all. Now, here's the way I'm going to say this to you. I'm going to say this two different ways, okay, so that you, and you okay. might, you may use both ways and I love both ways. So let's just say you love the mystical side of things. You could start a podcast where you have all mystical people on, all all mystical guests once a week that come on and share their mystical gifts with you. Or you could start a podcast uh, where you use your mystical gifts, whatever it is for you. They're saying play in that energy, do more of it, have fun with it, bring more of it to you. And if you're not watching, you need to come back and watch this part of the show because of the way they're like, bring more of it to you. Wahahaha. Um, just be in that space with that mystical, magical sense of being. And that my arms are like, I mean, I know I use my hands and my arms when I talk, but I'm like a big Italian uh, godfather right now. I'm like a Gambino right now, the way my arms are flailing. Um <laughs> Well, or a drowning I person. I could also look like face. a drowning person. Yes, go ahead, love. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. I have a big smile on my face because that's kind of what I want to do with work as well, but then I feel funny about it. Um, I was looking at something that said start an internet podcast, and I was like, huh, I saw that this morning. What would I, I do? It. And um, I just discovered something I have a, I would tell people stuff and it would like, you know, just people that I work with or I knew, like not like I charged them or anything. I would just tell them and they would get, they would either not believe me or get mad at me or something, yeah. you know, and I'm like, I'm just going to be quiet because it's really, no, it's really okay. getting me in trouble. So no, and here's, then yeah, go they ahead. would get mad at me when it came true. Okay. So here's oh, the sorry. thing that it took me a moment to learn. And I do hypnosis and I do healing and I do readings and I love, I mean, I love everything I do, but I realized my gifts aren't for the people I want to use them on. My gifts are for the people that come to me and want them. So although I would love to go to like my niece or my sister or somebody and say, yada, 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 I have to wait for the people uh -huh. that come to me and work with them because uh, there are people that have a lot of belief systems that don't fit with everything. I'm just going to leave it at that because uh -huh. we all know what we know. Uh -huh. And I would rather work with those people who are seeking help, who are seeking answers, who are seeking healing and coming to me and willing to honor that gift instead of poo poo the gift. So once you start the podcast and whether you start it yourself, just answering questions or whether you have you, you and another reader every once in a while, I'll have Marla on my show and she has me on her show and we answer questions together. However you want to do it to start it. Um, in the beginning, just do it and start a little website. I told this to Sal too. Sal is someone who's always uh, um, watching my show. I'm surprised I haven't seen him come through yet tonight. Um, but Sal um, also ha is very, very gifted. And Sal, I say, start a website, start some sort of podcast or whatever it is and, and just do it. Just do it and watch what it turns into. I've never known a, t a time in, I've never known a time when we need, I want to, I'm saying this backwards. I'm so dyslexic. I say whole sentences backwards. I've never known a time in this world when we have needed this more than we do now. We need faith and we need people out there like sharing faith uh -huh. and sharing love and sharing light. And this, this is, this is when we need it. We really, really need it now. So please, uh, that's your message for today. I, I hope that is helpful. Thank you. 
You are so welcome. It does. It and does. if you're not watching, as I said, as you said, thank you. I think it was, okay. as you said, <laughs> thank you. There was a flash of light behind me, which is Spirit's way of confirming for you, okay? Wow. Yes, go back and watch. Definitely wow. go back and okay. watch. And if you, okay, so if you, um, so I'm going to, I'm gonna thank you so much for calling in. You can call in anytime. I'll be Happy, happy to uh, take your call and answer any questions that you have. Um, so oh, thank you. You are so welcome. So, if you are listening or watching, please don't for I, I don't forget to. If you want to know when I'm coming on, to hit those buttons you need to hit to know when I'm coming on, so that I can I can um, I can answer your questions and help you the best that I can. So the next person, uh, I think the next person that had a question online, gosh, there's so many. I'm so sorry, everybody, that if I can't get to you. Remember, this show airs on TV, so it has to be that 60 seg 60 minute segment for TV. Um, Lisa, Lisa, hi, Tony. Can you tell me if I will get approved for an apartment anytime soon. Yes, but Lisa, I feel like the right apartment, you have not applied to it yet. It's a little further out. Um, I, I, like they're saying broaden your horizon. Like, um, yeah, broaden your horizon or look a little further out and you will find the right place and you are going to be approved. It's going to be a little bit difficult. I know it's so difficult for people looking for places right now. And uh, so let's, uh, let's do a clearing. Uh, she's going to find the, uh, let's clear that to a yes. So Lisa, I hope that's helpful. Thank you so much um, for, for asking that question. Um, Share Bear, hi, uh, Roselli, Rosella. Um, hey there. Uh, Thank you for being on the channel today, the show with us. I'm doing well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm going to, I just answered that. Do I have time? Yes, I think I have time for one more. I'm going to go to, I don't know if I did 805. 805? 805, what's your name? And oh, hi. Hi. Oh, it's Donna. How are you? Donna. Good, 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 Donna. How can I help you today? We're running. Uh -huh. It's the, the end, so let's... I wanted to know, do you see me needing someone? I mean, I lost all my weight. I've styled my hair. I'm just taking such good care of myself, and I feel good. And I've been doing that intermittent fasting for a month where I eat one, one keto meal a day. It gives me so much energy. It's wonderful. Okay, Donna, the first thing I hear is um, the song by... Take a chance on me. Um, so you have to give them a chance. Um, and the second thing I'm hearing is um, you have to, and I know this sounds um, kind of cliche, but um, uh. you have to let your guard down. You have to, like you think when somebody approaches you, you already are coming up with the things. I don't know how to say this like that. They might be like an ex or they might be like somebody in the past or they just want this or they're just looking for that. So let's clear all of that. And that's just us. What that is, I'm going to tell you right now what that is, whether you're male or female, that's that's protecting you from getting hurt again. So we make up all these things yeah. and all these excuses of why somebody can't come in. Like, oh, I'll bet you they're they're just going to lie. They're going to cheat. They're going to be a, a bamboozler, bamboozler. <laughs> um, let's clear all of that. Whew, because, okay. and and let's, who holy cow. Um and let's let's let all of that go so that we can meet somebody and give them a fair shot because as long as that's what we're thinking that's definitely what we are going to get and we don't we just we don't want that so we're going to clear all of that and 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 i feel like when is she going to well you're meeting people all the time when is a good a really good when is a 
potential, a really good potential partner coming in for her. I hear this month. So we just started in November. I feel like you're going to meet somebody. Okay. This month. And I feel like, wow. okay, now I'm going to give you some dates. This doesn't mean these are the dates you're going to meet them. I hear the fourth or the okay. fifth, the fourth, fifth. And then I hear this. I, okay. I hear the 16th and I see the 16th. I, I, the 17th is very soft and then the 25th. So make sure you're out and about, you're being social and, and, um, okay. and you're giving people the opportunity, um, past that, that stuff from the past. Okay, love. I will do that. Thank you, Tony. You are. Appreciate it. Oh, absolutely. My pleasure. Absolutely. My pleasure. I am going to see what I can do here. Uh, uh, Share Bear says lots of money going out for home projects. Is my money going to be okay and get better? Okay. Um, Share Bear, you need to slow down a little bit slow down, refurbish a little bit, build up your stacks. You don't have to do everything at once. Please know you do not have to do everything at once. Okay. Take your time with your projects. And um, I hear uh, do something to open another stream of income. I'm hearing like a, a bring in another stream if you can. Okay, love. Okay, that's that's what I'm hearing for you. Uh, Deborah, welcome to the show. My husband, James, passed over approximately two years now. I'm sorry for your loss. Is there anything he would like to share with me about move to Hawaii to stay with children? Do it. That, that wasn't even the first thing I thought I was going to say. Mm -mm. I thought I was going to say something completely different. Do it came flying out of my mouth, so do it. Uh, the next thing he wants to say is thank you. And uh, he knows he was a, a poop. Let me use that word. Sometimes thanks for putting up with him and all of his, um, he's just using the word irritable sim symptoms. I hope that makes sense to you, Deborah. So I think either sometimes he was cranky or he had irritable bowel. <laughs> I don't know. I'm guessing at that. But he says, thank you so much. And he says he loves you. He always did. Um, and he really loved it. Sometimes he really liked it or loved it when you would get angry and make that one face. I don't know if that makes sense to you. That's what I'm hearing. I hope it makes sense. <laughs> Jesus, I hope that makes sense to you, Deborah. I really do. I really, really do. I'm going to do Rosella. Oh, my gosh. There's so many questions and so many callers, you guys. I feel so overwhelmed right now. Listen, I'm going to try to come on this weekend and do another show. So if you did not get your call answered or your question answered online, Please um, hit whatever button you need to hit to know when I go live so that you can call in or call, uh, call in or join the show live on YouTube again. 90 and, seconds. Oh, see right there. Oh, that's was when the anxiety really kicks in. And um, thank you to everybody who has hit the like button. I'm so grateful for that. Thank you so much. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. I want to just say, Rosella, thank you. I'm sorry I didn't get to your question. White Swan, um, Patricia, Thank you so much. I know I, I can't even see everybody on here. Hey, Amy. Oh, my gosh. Amy's on here with us. Thank you so much. Again, if you would like a private seconds. session, they are available. Otherwise, everybody, otherwise, please make miracles in your life. Make magic in your life. Enjoy your life as much as you can. We don't know how many... You know, we never know. So enjoy every moment. And I, I want you to know that I love you so stinking much. And I cannot wait until next time.